I've actually had this idea for quite a while now, and that is I want to do a little deer push down this little point here. Now, like many things, you're going to have a lot of failures before you have any successes. So, in this case here, this is going to be our first attempt at trying to do a whitetail deer drive. Now, we're going to be joined with Comic Book Guy and Zacharuda. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have one person come in from Runeshi here, go straight south, and push this coastline. We're going to have two tripods set up over here, and we're going to see how it goes. All right, so we just got in position, and basically what we have going on here is I'm in a tripod stand. Comic Book Guy is a little bit further ahead, but he actually has a really good opening right here where we can see pretty much like a 150-yard circle. And we can see about 150 yards here. If they bust back on the railroad tracks, he should be able to shoot them as well. But basically, Zack is coming from Runichi Outpost, running directly south, and he's going to run along the edge of this coastline here and push whatever's over here towards us. There's going to be coyotes, there's going to be elk, big whitetail, there's going to be uh, rabbits, there's going to be black bear, so many different things down here. In fact, we have a max weight whitetail track right over here. Oh, get ready, comic. We got movement. Okay. I see... I see a Kyle elk coming. Oh, bull elk coming back towards you, Zach. Oh, I see it. All right, we got a bull and two cows coming. Man, did that suck. Definitely got them. Maybe we could do some adjustments and then try it again. Not bad. Running double long heart shot at 76 yards out on that bull. Nice. Open sights too. And the cow. A running perfect heart shot. <laughs> nice. All right, so we actually did some adjusting. Like I said before, we're going to have lots of failures before we have any successes. Now, I thought it'd be a really good spot to have a tripod back here because there's a really wide open field here. It's kind of a perfect spot. However, a lot of the animals were actually busting back before they got to us. And the way that we figured this out is we had comic book guy here and a bear actually cut off right here. And that was the only animal that he saw was right here. So then I thought, wait a second. Well, we should set up our tripods right where those things cut back. That's exactly what we did. So we went over here and I set up two tripods, one right here and one right here. So basically when they come from this coast here and run to us, they're going to get to this point here. And they're going to try and bust back right here. And at that point, we're going to have some good shots. Well, hopefully. The male coyote in front of me is headed to you guys. All right, cool. Any white tail tracks there? Uh, yeah, a few does. I haven't seen a, a buck track yet. Okay. We know all this. Oh, there we go. What do you got? I got a whole pack of coyotes. Oh, nice, hey, nice. I can, I can see uh, the ones you spotted. See them, Zach? Uh, nothing in the field. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Big buck, big buck coming out. Of course, I pulled the 243. Definitely smoked him, though. Hopefully we got some good penetration. Holy whitetail. Coming towards you, Zach. Oh, that sucker definitely is not going far. Come on, please tell me I got that big buck. Nothing running my way yet. Coyote, coyote. They just ran past comic. Holy! Lots of coyotes. And I wish I brought buckshot here. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Smoke that one. Jeez. Pile that one up. Got another one there. I believe I got that other buck. A coyote ran my way. Nice. 
Yeah, I think I found a pretty good little spot here, comic. <laughs> yep, you got the right spot. Wow. I hope I got that big buck. Did you hit the buck? Oh, I drilled him. Yeah, he was only like 20 yards away. I just don't know what the penetration of the 243 is like. This should be him if it's going to be the big buck. Yeah, I think it is him. And I got him. Double lunged him at 29 yards. 212 right. score. Wow. Perfect shot. The 243 did not let me down that time. And then a coyote down here. Nice male. Left lung shot. And then two more coyotes and a doe, I think. There's a doe. Oh, and a buck. Forgot about that buck. You see a coyote over there? There's He's tracking one right now. There's blood. Uh, 21 to 24 kg. Okay, there's blood right there. Oh yeah, that's the buck. That's a decent buck too. I think he was like a wide 10 point. Yeah, average sized. Yep, 180. And uh, right lung, liver, stomach shot. 41 yards out. And then... Where's that other coyote? The uh, big level 7 coyote got back past us. Oh, he got away, huh? Yeah. There's a bit of blood, but I don't see anybody. Well, the white-tailed doe led us to the coyote. Huh, look at that. Here's the coyote. Oh, the big 7. We got him, comic. That's him right there. Oh, 50, 53 score. Yep, that was him. It Bud. must be another one of equal size because I saw one headed back the other way. He was his weight was 21 to 24 kilograms, so it must have been similar. Oh, there might be an even bigger one then. So we ended up with one, two, three coyotes, three whitetail, and a big buck. That's a pretty successful drive if you ask me. Well, let's try that again, but this time we're gonna be the driver and we're gonna have Comic and Zach posting. Did you get it on camera? Oh yeah, it was perfect. Oh, nice. And I had the tracks off too, so you could see him coming out. I could tell he was big. Got on him, got a good lead on him. Only thing I couldn't tell is, I couldn't tell if it was actually a good enough shot. I couldn't tell if it got the penetration. You know, because the 243 is kind of weak sometimes. Black tail coming your way. I'm gonna reload. Open, I see things. Besides just a single doe. You better open your eyes, because there's a lot of animals coming your way. Yep. I have never seen so many tracks. Bear, coyote, white tail buck track. There goes a the coyote. Three, four coyotes coming right towards you, Zach. Actually, they're kind of between you and Comic. Coming around the point. Coyote coming towards Comic. Buck's coming the same way, too. Let's check here. Yeah, I hit a doe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Two bucks, and I <laughs> shoot the doe. Oh, there oh, we go. I see a buck. Coyote coming right to comic. Coyote coming right to comic. And a doe. And a buck right there. Coming right to, uh, right out in front got here. A buck, got an injured buck running back towards the air. Got him. Deer just out of the trees. <laughs> Got him. Coyote, coyote. Yeah, ATV <laughs> then on foot works really good. <laughs> Did you guys see anything? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I shot a few times. There was a few deer I... Hit a blacktail buck that 
then went went around. Another medium sized white tail buck came out from the trees. I shot it once and then uh So hard to see him in this grass. Unless you're up high. Oh, they're coming my way. Yeah, you should have a bear. Oh, and a buck. A buck. Two, three Big, coyotes. Nice black tail buck. N nice buck. Two coyotes coming your way. Oh my god, I just smoked one. There's two coyotes coming. Big black tail buck. Nice white tail buck. They bust him back. Oh, they're busting back. Awesome shot. Oh no, they're trying to run me over. They're trying to run me over. Not today. Not today. Coyote. I'm empty. I'm empty. They're hard to hit. Another good spot here. Oh, there goes a coyote. <laughs> I see him running. Oh, <laughs> I smoked him. Alright, so... Next time, we're gonna have to put a tripod over here. Because I think they like this spot. Gotta be here somewhere, Zach. Where'd it go? Tracks coming right towards I you, Zach. See it coming, this way. coming right towards you. Oop, you see it? Shots fired. Nailed it. Nice. Nice shooting. I didn't even need to take another, those other two shots. I I got a double lung shot with the 223. Oh, yeah? Oh, there's Comic. Hey. And the buck. Hey. See anything up there? The buck was like right over here. Uh, the white tail buck was here. like right over here. Oh, yeah? Did you get anything? No, I uh, shot at uh, a buck, but he got past me. Oh, you saw a buck. That's cool. This is its track right here. I, I think it's the same one that I shot, the medium-sized buck. I saw a I buck this come... this is its track right here. I saw one come this way. I see the bear. No, that's not a bear. That's a moose. Big bull moose coming this way, comic. And a white tail right behind the bull. White tail doe and a bull moose right here. Take him. I got him. Bear coming back at you. Buck is hit. I'm empty. I'm empty. There's a buck. Dead doe right here. Buck, this is a buck. buck. Dead buck. Not a big buck, but it's a buck. Liver shot, and then the bull moose ran back here somewhere. Oh, right, there's a deer. Did you get him? Nope. Thank you. 203 gold. It was a gold? And you got first hit the right. Yeah. First one was a right long, and the second was an intestine. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So you should have two bear, three, four white tail, four black tail. There goes the bear. And there goes a buck. Black tail buck is hit. Holy, there's five black tail bucks come, or five black tails coming your way. Of course, they're actually going to be on the left side. They're going to be on your right side, comic. So keep an eye on your right side. Oh, okay. uh, they're kind of working their way to your left, actually. They're kind of working their way between you and Zach, which is actually perfect. Oh my god, there's so many, Hopefully though. They come out in, in the there's got to be like 10 deer coming your way right now. And two big black bear. Oh man, there's a lot. They're all coming right towards you. You see the path that I'm taking right now? They're going right directly the same path I'm going. Kind of veering off a little bit to the right, which is almost perfect. I'm on the bear track. Oh, yep, the bears. Oh, they're coming perfect right down the coast. Right down the coast. Look at them all. Holy. Oh my god, I see three bear, four, five black tail. Oh my, I, I'm turning the tracks off. There's too many here. This is intense.
Right between you guys. Right down the pipe. Right down the pipe. Here they come. Shots fired. Shots fired. Big black bear. Big black bear. Black tail buck hit. I'm empty. I'm empty. Drop the black tail. Nice shot. Nice shot. Did you guys see that bear? Oh, nice buck. Nice buck. I saw the bear, but it um, disappeared behind the trees before I get, can get a shot off. There he goes. There he goes. Bear on the coast. Bear on the coast. Big bear coming at us. Got him. Perfect shot. He is not nice. going far. He's down. That should be the big one. Any coyotes? You hit him once, uh, Zach. You hit him a little bit low. Right below the heart. 150 yard shot. Wow, he's quite a ways out there. Double lung shot I got on that, actually. But uh, that's not the max weight right, bear. Right lung heart shot on this black tail. Nice shot. Comic, do you see anything? Uh, no, I got a, uh, I fired at a doe. And oh, I yeah. Thought, yeah, doe came out. I saw a, a Zach smoke that black tail. Oh, nice. Oh, we got more coming. Another buck. Remember, there's a max weight buck track here, Zach. Wait, why did I need to... Look at, there's the bull. Check this out. If you want a bow on me, it's pretty close to you. Ooh, smoked him. Didn't get hard though. I tried for a hard shot. Lots of stuff by you, comic. Is that a coyote coming back there? Um, comic, you want to take a shot? Yeah, take a shot in the air. They're turning nice around. Buck over there. It's a level two, ain't it? Yeah, nice buck coming in. Real nice buck. It's not the max weight buck, but it's a. Yep, I see him. It's a nice buck. Oh, here they come! Here they come! All right, anything's fair game now. Shot fired. Oh, nice! You got him. Nice shot, nice shot. There's, there's some animals cutting out to you guys. All right, guys. Well, we had a lot of fun doing this hunt, and I really hope you guys give it a try. I know a lot of people like to hunt this way, too. So it's a lot of fun to have a bunch of friends and come out here and do this. And not only that, you can consistently do it over and over again. And the key is, as long as you're actually in a tripod, you're not really going to lose the zone. Not only that, the zone is about 250 yards away. So even if you didn't have a tripod, I don't think the uh, hunting pressure would actually spread far enough to the zone. So I'm going to show you right now in the exact location where you should set up your tripod to do this. All right, so here's our tripod. I have two tripods set up here. I have one right here, which this spot here is actually probably my favorite spot because from right here, you can actually see all the way down to the coast. There's a little pocket right there where you can literally see every single animal that comes past. So basically right here is where the second tripod is. You can see all the way out to there as well. And most of the time you're going to see animals coming from here. You know, you'll see them coming in about 100 yards out. And by the time you get ready, you better be ready for a shot because they come in pretty fast. What I recommend is go open sights or bring buckshot. Buckshot could work really good too, but honestly, they come pretty fast. So I don't even know if buckshot would work that good because buckshot, it seems like it takes a little while for the pattern to actually get there. But anyways, the second tripod that I have set up is back over here. And this spot here is actually probably my favorite spot. This is the first spot. I've, I've never really hunted that other tripod. I've watched people hunt it, but I've never actually hunted it. All I know is this spot here is really good because I've hunted this spot. And the good part about this spot is you can see them coming from like 150 yards out right here to the left side. And typically, as you saw, that one big white tail buck, he busted out right through the middle there. So you only have a couple of seconds. You basically have about two shots. If you miss once, you got to follow up and that's it. So you basically got to make every single shot count. Otherwise, you're not going to get them. But it is so much fun. And let me show you the exact location. So right here, we're at the Runichi Church, and basically there's a little curve right here, kind of like a V. We're only about 100 yards out from that curve, and you just go right over to this point right there. 
It's kind of hard to show you because there's not really a marking on the ground here, but... And the way that you want to do this is basically you're going to have somebody come in from Rudichi here. They can take the ATV and drive right to this railroad track here. But once they get to this railroad track, they got to stop, get off the ATV and go on foot. Run down to the coast here and from here... They're on foot and they run all the way along the coast, basically like 60 to 80 yards off this coastline here. And they're going to push all kinds of stuff this way and you can just keep doing it over and over. We've, we've taken down probably like 25 animals here and look, there's hardly any hunting pressure here. I mean, hardly any hunting pressure because these tripods are key to reducing that hunting pressure. But anyways, I recommend coming here at about 1230 because then the coyotes are here. Uh, you got whitetail, elk are all down here. You could try and come here at about 11 o'clock in the morning as well because the coyotes actually... Well, the whitetail, they bed here from 9 until 12.30. And then the coyote, I believe, bed here till 11. But either way, I think the coyotes stick around here anyways. So definitely just hunt anywhere between 11 and 12.30 and you'll be good. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.